markets. But we do have a management waiting by for us. Uh, Ashok Kajaria, who's the CMD at Kajaria Ceramics, joins us now. A strong operational performance is what the company has reported. Margins have improved, understandably, largely because of the reduction in or, or, you know, fuel prices, gas prices in particular. But revenue growth is still hard to come by. You know, the company has reported 6% volume growth. Thanks a lot, Mr. Kajaria, for joining in. Always a pleasure speaking with you, the smiling face that you have. Uh, you know, 6% volume growth in the third quarter. The first nine months of this year is close to 7%. You're not uh, usually, you know, doing these numbers. You typically guide for double-digit, mid-teens, sometimes high-teens as well. What exactly is happening and what's the revised volume growth guidance for this year and next? You see, this year the markets have been very tough at the ground level. In the last interview I also said, and also I said uh, in my investor review that uh, fourth quarter we should be growing at about uh, 6 to 7 percent in volume. But we are very optimistic about uh, 24, 25. And I think uh, if the, and we have also said that uh, we'll grow 5 to 6 percent more than the industry. And I, mm. I personally feel that the 24-25 should be a much, much better year than what we have seen in 23-24, as far as the volume growth is concerned. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kajaria, you know, just a more longer-term question, because uh, the budget was quite focused in terms of housing for the middle class. Uh, so there could be probably increased impetus which comes through within that segment going forward as well. Uh, what would that mean for a company such as yours? Uh, you know, you're expecting industry, you, you're expecting to ex exceed industry growth. But in terms of an opportunity, can you quanti quantify it for us? In rough, the budget, first of all, has been good as far as the housing industry is mm -hmm. concerned. They're talking about two lakh uh, rural, rural housing for the mid sector, as you said rightly. And I feel that the industry next year should definitely grow at, uh, currently the industry is flat this year. The industry definitely should grow at about 5-6% plus. And if that happens, the area will definitely grow at 11 to 12% 11 to in volume terms. So it's a positive mm -hmm. scenario. 11 to 12% in volume terms in FI25 if uh, all things stay stable. Mr. Kajaria, on the yes. margin front, you know, you maintain this 14 to 16% range. How have uh, gas prices behaved? Now, the last known numbers that we have... Average fuel prices were close to around 38 rupees per SCM in North Southwest, close to 40 rupees in uh, the other geographies. Uh, how has the average price been for you and where is it expected to go? The quarter three, the average price for the entire quarter has been around 39. Fourth quarter, we are expecting the same thing as far as the gas price, uh, fuel prices are concerned. And margins and stay where? Uh, la la last year, if you remember, we had said that uh, EBITDA margin will be 14 to 16 percent. We are close hmm. to about 15.5% for nine months. And uh, next year, uh, year we should end between 15 to 16. And next year, we have given a guidance of 15 to 17%. As okay. far as EBITDA margins are concerned. Okay, all right. 15 to 17% is what you'd probably look at in terms of margins going forward. Uh, what are you doing in terms of expansion in order to take more advantage of these possible growth triggers? Uh, what is your expansion when it comes to, say, the distribution network? How much are you probably putting in when it comes to CapEx? See, CapEx this year we are spending close to about 370 crores. And as already announced in our results, uh, we are taking a plant at Morbi, which is a glaze rectified plant, uh, for a capacity of 6 million square meters at roughly about 50 crores, which is, a you can say, a distress sell by one of the uh, persons out, uh, companies out there. And if you put up that same plant, it will cost us about 100 crores in Morbi. So we are getting a good deal. We are uh, taking in this plant. And secondly, we are taking a land parcel at about 30 crores for putting up a, a large uh, slab plant, which should come in about 15 to 18 months. The details of which will be finalized in the next quarter. And distribution network? Distribution network, currently we have 1,800 plus dealers, out of which mm. 400 are exclusive. Going forward, we are trying to have more exclusive dealers because the results from them are most positive. So I think mm -hmm. next year we should add about another 100 dealers, roughly. All right. So 100, 150 dealers every year is what you add. Uh, you targeted about 10,000 crore revenue in the next five to six years. That's the goal that you gave to uh, you know your next generation as well. I just wanted to know, in that 10,000 crore revenue that you have, what will the mix look like? Because right now, most of it comes from tiles, but you are seeding new verticals like adhesives, plywoods, and bathware, sanitary wear as well. See, what we have given 10,000 crores, yes, we should do it in the next five years. We will try not to go even beyond that. 
but the tile ratio should be close to about 87 88% out of that and uh, bathware should be about you can say about uh, 7% ply should be about uh, 3% and adhesive should be about 2% and in the very uh, near future next year what is the target that you have for allied products uh, bathware you see uh, ply we have already said from 100 crores this year we should be looking at about mm -hmm. 150 crores Adhesive, we are talking about uh, from 50 crores this year to about 75 to 80 crores. And bathware this year, we should close at about 375 to 380 crores. And we are talking about 500 crores next year. Okay. Based on your trajectory, just before we let you go, I think you're probably going to exit FI24 with over around 400 crores of profit? Should be. Should be. Should be. Slightly better than that. Should be slightly better than that. And what would that mean for FI25? Uh, anything that you can guide us on when it comes to the bottom line? You're anticipating 10% growth, 15% growth? See, we are, as I just said uh, two minutes back, if we are looking at about 11-12% growth, manpower is not going to go increase. So gas prices, if they remain constant what they are right now, I think definitely the bottom line would be much better. Bottom line will be much better. All right. Uh... Just the one number that we didn't get from you is the ad spends number. You wanted to spend about 130 to 140 crores in ad spends this year. Next year, what's your target? Now, this year, we are given a guidance. If you remember, about 130 to 140 crores, we'll be doing that. And next year, it will be close to about 3% of our revenue. It will, okay. it will go from what it is this, this year. Okay, sir. We're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us. So that's Kajaria Ceramics, quite bullish in terms of guidance going forward and demand, uh, the demand scenario going forward. So let's see whether that pans out or not. For the markets, nonetheless, yes, we are off the day's high, but it's been a great week for us. So no complaints on a net net basis. We need to take a short break. But up next, we'll connect with uh, Himanshu Baird, who is the MD at Polymedicure, to discuss their Q3 performance. Stay tuned.